dear students in this session we will discuss the method of analysis used in macroeconomics or in economics in general the method of analysis used in economics is classified into statics comparative statistics statics and dynamics statics comparative statics and dynamics now first we discuss what is statics in static analysis attention is focused on determination of the equilibrium values of endogenous variables so in status analysis our concern is determination of the equilibrium values of endogenous variables what we do here is the values of exogenous variables are incorporated into the model and together with the, the structural relationships in the model determine the values of the endogenous variables and one of the structural relations will be an equilibrium condition so we we have a model a set of equations and we place what to say exogenous variables and specify the functional relationship between variables and one structural equation will be an equilibrium condition solving for this by substituting the values of endogenous variables we will get what is known as the equilibrium values of endogenous variables and this is what we do in static analysis and if uh, an exogenous variable in the model changes over time values of the endogenous variables also change so in static analysis our concern is determination of equilibrium values of endogenous variables only for example consider a model qd is equal to a minus bp qs is equal to minus c plus dp qd is equal to qs substituting equating demand to supply and substituting the values you will get equilibrium values of endogenous variables quantities and price quantity and price this is a model determining equilibrium values of the endogenous variables price and quantity and in comparative static analysis we are concerned with the changes in the equilibrium values of endogenous variables we are concerned with the changes in the equilibrium positions or what we consider here is we compare two equilibrium positions and in the comparative static analysis we will not consider the movement of an endogenous variable from one equilibrium position to another equilibrium position we simply uh, consider two equilibrium positions we will ignore the movement of an endogenous variable from one equilibrium position to another equilibrium position or stated differently we will ignore 
the time required for the movement from one equilibrium to another equilibrium as an example consider quantity demanded is a function of say price and income quantity supplied is a function of price qs is equal to qd qs is equal to qd and uh, suppose that in graphic form this is the demand function qd and d y is equal to y0 and q yes and equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity determined by intersection of the demand and the supply curves now in this model quantity is endogenous price is also endogenous income is exogenous now as i told you by substituting the values for demand and supply and solving you will get equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity now remember this if i use specify the model like this there are no exogenous variables here so there is no there will be no change in the equilibrium position here but here there is an exogenous variable y so the demand curve is drawn for a particular level of income say y0 and if uh, y changes over time say suppose that y increases from y0 to y1 y is equal to y1 now as you can see equilibrium quantity increases equilibrium price also increases so the equilibrium move from say even to e2 so this is a, an analysis of comparative static analysis so if you consider only one equilibrium position it is static analysis when you compare two equilibrium positions it is comparative static analysis and remember this we will not consider how much time it will take for quantity and price to reach new equilibrium values the time path of the variables is ignored in the comparative static analysis in a sense comparative static analysis is also static analysis because there is no much difference between these two the only difference is in the static analysis we consider only one equilibrium position in the comparative static analysis we compare two equilibrium positions otherwise there is no difference between these two analysis and remember also this if you want to compare two equilibrium positions or if you want to consider what happens to the values of endogenous variables you have to introduce exogenous variables in the system then only you can compare one equilibrium with another equilibrium and static and comparative static analysis are extensively used in all branches of economics now the third one is dynamics now william j bomor william j bomor define dynamics as economic dynamics is the study of economic phenomena in relation to preceding and succeeding events economic dynamics is the study of economic phenomena in relation to preceding and succeeding events the essence of this definition is recognition of time in the process of economic change recognition of time in the process of economic change and dynamic analysis is concerned primarily with the disequilibrium 
disequilibrium and change time is recognized in the dynamic analysis and it is mainly concerned with the disequilibrium and the change now when you construct a dynamic model we explicitly incorporate time by splitting time into time periods such as years months etc and examine how what happens in one period is related to what happened in the previous period and also what is expected to happen in the future period so the variables in dynamic analysis are dated variables say yt xt etc yt xt etc dated variables so the the difference between static and dynamic analysis is dynamic analysis recognize the the process of adjustment that is what happens to the value of an endogenous variable if an equilibrium is disturbed and in dynamic analysis we will consider the movement of the system from one position to another position say from e1 to e2 we consider the time path of the variable qt the time path is discussed so it is mainly concerned with the disequilibrium and the change and the variables are dated variables stated differently static method of analysis applies to models in equilibrium dynamic method of analysis applies to models in disequilibrium so dynamic analysis analyzes a model in disequilibrium and this analysis is capable of following a system from one point of disequilibrium to another towards eventual equilibrium or through unending succession succession of disequilibrium points unending succession of disequilibrium points so we will consider stated in brief in dynamic analysis the movement of a variable from one position to another position the time taken for this variable to move from one position to another position or uh, we will consider the economy in a state of disequilibrium so static analysis is concerned with uh, the models in equilibrium dynamic analysis is concerned with the uh, models in disequilibrium so these are the three methods of analysis statics comparative statics and uh, examples will be considered later as an example static analysis and comparative static analysis are extensively used in macroeconomics as an example to dynamic analysis we will see dynamic multiplier later in the context of a keynesian model of income determination in microeconomics there is a cobweb model and the cobweb model explains what happens if initially the the economy is in disequilibrium where whether the uh, the values of variables will uh, converge towards equilibrium or diverge from equilibrium etc etc these are examples which we will discuss later so for the time being remember this we use static analysis comparative static analysis and uh, dynamics these are the three methods of analysis used in economics not only in macroeconomics in economics in general 